Hello and welcome to creativenurse.co.uk Today we've just got a quick tip to show you on how to use Illustrator to create starburst vector brush set Well not even necessarily brush set, just a vector set really We're going to show you the technique, what we're going to do So basically we're just going to grow, grab the ellipse tool We're going to hold on to shift or if you're using a Mac I think it's command and we're just going to create a small circle we don't want to have any type of fill for the inside color and we're going to add a stroke to the circle which will be a uh, black pretty much any color it doesn't really matter what color you use okay so we're just going to click off that we're going to select the stroke panel and now this is where we're going to this is where magic's going to be created so we're going to Select a weight for the stroke that we just created of about 204. And then we're going to select a middle filter to around 5. And then we're just going to select uh, the tick box dash line. And this is where the magic is going to come. We're going to change the dash to 2. Whoops. Turn out to two. We're going to change the the gap to two dash to two, and we're just going to have a play around with the settings until we get that starburst effect. There we go. So we put in a, a dash of three, two of gap, and a dash of two. There we go. We've created. If we select the circle again and select object expand, select OK. There we go. We've created a fully vector scalable starburst effect using Illustrator, which took less than a few minutes to achieve. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tip and be sure to check back Creative Nurse for further tutorials on how to use Illustrator and little quick tips that we have in the future. Thanks for watching.